with the Michigan Department of Corrections moving to parole prisoners to reduce exposure to the coronavirus. Prosecutor Kim Worthy wants to make sure no criminal is released without their victim first being notified. Mara McDonald is live at the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice. Mara, prosecutor has a list that she would like people to see. She does, Devin, and we have put it up on clickondetroit.com because it's a pretty long one. And on it, you're going to see the Wayne County cases that Corrections is paroling. The question tonight is, are any of those prisoners' victims still around? The MDOC is going to release these prisoners, and we need time to find the victims that are connected to the crime. Those being paroled have no victim contact information, which can be for a couple of reasons. It's an old case from the 70s or 80s or victims didn't register with the prosecutor's office. So it's taking us a while to find some of these victims. So this is an attempt to speed up the process so we can get these prisoners out of MDOC faster. Worthy has given us a list of those being paroled, which we're putting on Click on Detroit. If you recognize any of the prisoners, they want to hear from you. Corrections is moving prisoners out of the system if they qualify for parole to get them out of the way of COVID-19. This was something that we've never done before, but obviously we're facing a pandemic that we've never faced before. Corrections and the parole board have out of about 37,000 prisoners, between four to 5,000 who meet the requirements for parole. So they're trying to speed up the process. That process means alerting county prosecutors who is being released and asking them to waive a 28 day waiting period to move this process along. Worthy won't waive it. She says they need the time to find any victims. No case uh, is, is the board feeling any pressure to parole people or get people out just because of COVID-19. They're making these decisions with uh, public safety uh, top of mind. Back here live, Corrections tells us they are in the process of testing every inmate at all of their facilities. So far, they've done nine. At this point, they say about half the prison population is testing positive for COVID-19. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Back to you. Yeah, Mara, uh, on those releases, compare that with how many pr prisoners get paroled a month compared to where we are now? Well, usually, usually, according to MDOC, they parole less than 700, you know, between six and 700 a month. That's in a typical month. Now those numbers are up above 700 and sometimes closing in on 800. Yeah, yeah. Back to you. All right, Mara. Uh,